Okay, am I cute yet? No. How much more time do you think I need? I mean, do we have years? You think I'll, I'm, I'll be cute when I'm like 50? I think you'll be cute when you're dead, baby. My cute little corpse, Nikki. And then I'll prop you up for these videos and I'll move your limbs about. You do these kinds of things, flailing about. A little rigor mortis on that ass. Because you're dead. You're because dead. Because I'm dead. You're dead. How old should we be on the internet this year? Okay, we have to if be able to- If you didn't know how old we were, how old would you guess? Wait, let me not have bags under my eyes entirely. Although teenagers today do have bags under their eyes because they're all stressed on the internet all the time. Do I look like I have to have a parent sign a permission slip? Do you think I can play like a high schooler? <laughs> listen. Cause I believe it because listen, people don't know if fat children are adults or not. So I could be 12 years, I look like I feel 12 like you years looked, old. <laughs> you looked older when you were 19. Oh my God, I posted a photo the other day of me when I was 19, y'all check it. Ma'am. Everyone correctly guessed, they were all like, you look like a youth pastor. And I was like, this is literally me trying to get into Campus Crusade for Christ to fuck a Baptist boy. Although I wasn't, I barely knew what it fucking was. I was like, hold hands and make out and then it fades to black, you know? But like, here's me learning music and pretending I listen to Howie Dave so this boy that's super to Jesus will want to touch me. And uh, I didn't- Holding quite, a guitar. Trying to look like Mandy Moore with that Smiling. Hair has that, I gotta pick up my kids from soccer yeah. practice at 4.30 haircut. Yeah, my grandmother and I, I'm pretty sure, own that same exact shirt that I'm wearing. Just old navy classics. Got it from Dots. Yeah. <laughs> got it, got it from Fashion Bug. Yeah, I had a few coupons. <laughs> Welcome to What the Sweet Fuck. I'm Megan Tonjes. I'm Nicole Fodi. I'm your host, leading you through a, an array of experiences. <laughs> and I'm your other host, here. Little comedy doula, you know what I'm saying? Comedy doula, yeah. There you go, that's for you. Oh my God. I, I help birth comedy into the world. Wow. And then it's not even my comedy, you know? It's it's. Well, it's the demons. Comedy. Oh, definitely the demon. Speaking of which, I've been watching season four of Angel. It's, it's a lot. From my perspective, allegedly. I lost track <clears throat> of what we're doing. We talk about all things <laughs> fuck worthy here. Yeah, we do. You, you get it, you know. There's a playlist, you can check it out. Where your favorites, let us know that you're where your favorites. Also, if this is the first video that you're ever seeing from us, leave it in the comments. We wanna know. Yeah, we have homework well. assignments. So if you that's showed up all. and you thought that you're not gonna do anything and you're just gonna sit there and passively engage with the content that's being presented to you in the way that it is, think the fuck again. If you weren't so funny to watch and to look at and to stare at and to laugh at, I think this would just be a podcast. <laughs> but you have to see, mm. Nikki flailing about. You can't hear, I mean, you can hear it. You can hear the wind rustling by, but like, I need you to see it. Yeah. I need you to feel it. I need you to go to giphy.com and look up what the sweet fuck of Megan Tonjes and then start sharing the gifts in your reactions. Preferably with people that you don't like so that we're also getting that cross traction from other audiences mm. that we don't necessarily have access to. What are you here for this week? I'm here for a squirrel. Cause I have to be here. You're here for, for a squirrel every fucking week, Nikki. I, Cause I listen. I live for squirrels. <laughs> First of all, this is the oh, best part that's of this. Me. <laughs> this is the best picture of a squirrel I've ever seen. <laughs> well, there's your, there's your thumbnail. <laughs> but apparently, in Pennsylvania, it's well, all, why is it always Pennsylvania too? There's not a lot going on, man. From my perspective, allegedly, climbed a utility pole and knocked out electricity to about 765 customers. Uh, and they were like, what the fuck's going on? It's the squirrel's fault. No, one, no one's fault but the squirrel. Mm. Um, power was eventually restored, but really this is all I wanted to talk about. Yeah, well I'm just, I'm just glad that we're here to be anti-squirrel in the year 2020. No, I am pro-squirrel. Oh, you're pro-squirrel. I'm pro-squirrel. Um, I'm glad that, you know, he or she is living their dream of mm. disrupting the lives of humans. I'm here. Animals take over, man. I'm not trying to... I'm on your side. This week, I'm here for this article. Well, I'm really just here for this announcement and this realization. Disneyland raises ticket prices, breaking the $200 a day mark. And I I'm, literally And I'm here for it because fucking, capitalism. <laughs> I almost <laughs> talked about that because let me tell you a little story. Okay. Tell me. Uh, Ken and I decided last week that mm -hmm. we're gonna go to Disneyland for Valentine's Day. Cute. 
And then yesterday, I saw that fucking story. And I wanted to die. <laughs> Can you imagine spending $400? I don't have that kind of money. It's $400 plus to walk around something that you have to wait in lines for anyway? Do you understand, like... I mean, I, feel, I don't think you empathize with, but I think you understand my love of Disneyland. Uh, like, you don't I, share it, but you know that I love I it. I acknowledge right? it. Right? I acknowledge it. I was, it was as far as I would go. And so I was so excited yeah. that we were going to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I can't believe you just... Well, you better buy some Mickey Mouse balloons online, blow those bitches up in your apartment, sprinkle some glitter on a dick, because you're not going to Disney with those prices. I was going to say something, but I, I better... Actually, why the fuck do we... <laughs> why the fuck do I care? We're yeah, not censored yeah. on this. Yeah, not on my I'm channel. just saying, <laughs> I'm not trying to exfoliate my booty hole. Oh. Well, but I mean, maybe you need to exfoliate it and put some hyaluronic acid on it and get all those years of dust off, you know? Just, like, freshen her up. Make her young again, you know? Make make Nikki's asshole young again. <laughs> What's the acronym? Oh. Anyway, I thought that was such a funny story because I knew it was going to hurt everyone that I love. And I think that's the funniest. The one year that I did the Ford Fiesta thing, and I... Oh, that was the, that was the move. I did this Ford Fiesta thing. Mm. I got a car. I remember. I recall. I got a car for six months. They paid the gas and the insurance. And I just had to do little things every month. And so one of them I pitched was I wanted to go to Disneyland for the first time because I'd never been to Disneyland. And so they had they paid for a Keith and, a Keith and I's ticket. And when you, you know, it's a, that's the scam. It's like you buy a ticket, it goes towards the down payment for an annual pass. And so we got the cheapest annual pass. And so for a year, I would, I, we would just go whenever and I would get my, you know, my um, my treats and my sweets and go on my little rides. And then I never looked back. I was like, this is my year with Disney and I'm done. How did I not know that? Oh yeah, if you ever get a ticket to Disney, I mean, you might still- No, have how did I not know that you used to have an annual pass? Oh, I don't know. You know. I don't tell my friends that are into Disney that I had an annual pass right, because, because that, I didn't want them to You lose want me credibility to then. Well, your screen cred, your screen I, cred goes down. I never lose screen cred, first of all. I never lose any kind of cred. First well, you all, have to be known as a Disney owner. I could hater. argue my ass out of a paper bag, okay? So I'm never concerned about what other people think because there's always a reason for what I do. There's not a thing I do that doesn't have a fucking explanation. Even if that explanation doesn't make sense, with the information but, I have, but, this is what is happening. But babe, yeah, but hon. Yeah, babe. The optics. Oh, it's yeah, not, so it's, they're not good for your Disney hating narrative, you but, know? But, babe. <laughs> babe, babe. Hey, babe. Yeah, babe. <laughs> this is our new podcast. This is our new show. Hey, babe. Yeah, babe. <laughs> I would absolutely start a podcast I with you called Hey, Babe. Yeah, babe. <laughs> I think the middle section of these videos for me is now going to be the Hey Babe, Yeah Babe section. <laughs> hey, I don't babe. want to add work on our dinner plate here. <laughs> no, but th these are ideas for like when I have to go and we need to make extra content. Hey Babe, you, Yeah Babe is yeah, a babe. great hey, fucking babe. idea. Hey Babe, Yeah Babe. Hey Babe, Yeah Babe. Oh, We have t-shirts with the two little text things oh, that say Hey oh, Babe, Yeah Babe. Oh! I just, I feel like I just sounded like Jared I at just, the beginning I mean, of that song. Do you see how my mind works? The genius that happens. We got merch lines. <laughs> we got podcasts. We have entire ideas. Listen, hey, babe. Yeah, babe? You're talking about the optics that you see. I'm talking about the deeper below that optics, which is, is it, oh, Megan's secretly a Disney fan and ha ha, we got her, or Megan hates Disney and doesn't care so much that she is laughing at us as she did what we did and is secretly still judging it even though she has it. That's funnier. That's so funny. You should be, you should have been the one to have a PR degree, not I. I'm telling you. Because I have you, my own PR degree. She's a spinner. She I'm can a spin. spin. I sp I'll spin on that dick and I'll spin on that truth. I'll tell you much. <laughs> I'm not spinning on that dick. I'm tired. My back hurts. Hey, babe. Yeah, babe. So I want to talk this way. <laughs> It's so good. I shared this story with Nikki this morning, who had no idea this was happening, which just shows you that there are like entire wars happening on the internet, that if you're not in the right time at the right place, you live your life peacefully. I just want to talk a little bit about comedy, insecurity, social media, and knowing when to not. So there was a comedian the other day, a writer, from my perspective, allegedly. I saw him get in a little back and forth with our good friend Akila, wherein he, uh, put out a hot take about movies that he doesn't like. And Akilah responded, art is hard. And then he proceeded to have a 
from my perspective, allegedly, meltdown, over feeling condescended, feeling mm -hmm. that he was being spoken to in a way that demeaned his worth in the world. His body of work. Tweets like, do you believe, do you think that you know more about art and metaphor than I do? I fucking gag. Akilah saying yes. And then him saying, well, with what body of work? And then her saying, well, here's the list of all the things. And him saying, oh, things that are still in production. There's something else going on. There's something else that needs to be resolved. From my perspective, allegedly, in this town, in this industry, there are a lot of like the younger kids, like people that had like a dozen siblings that never let them speak and or were bullied their whole life. And so now they finally- That's what it feels like. They finally have, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna back down. I'm not gonna, turn away from someone calling me out. I'm gonna protect my honor. I am all about responding in a snarky way to people that you think are fucking with you, but there's a certain point when you've spent five hours on the internet that you're like, maybe it's a little bit more about my ego and insecurity and less about what's actually right. From my perspective, allegedly, I said, I'm not the one. And then he continued to be like, what do you mean I'm not the one, dog? There are so many ways to end that possible sentence and that that sentence infers. And so I think that anyone that uh, can't understand the multiple meanings of that, from my perspective, allegedly, also probably can't understand the multiple metaphors in a movie. And so, you know, <laughs> I, get, I get very tired of people kind of in this city and in this industry who, and this is in YouTube too, really believe that your value and your worth is tied to your relevancy and your numbers and that those two things necessarily correspond and we'll use that as a way of shutting people up or down or showing them and every time someone does that i'm just like wow you just lost any credibility you had from my perspective allegedly we're all dying the, the planet's on fire you know i'm just saying we're all dying the planet's on fire the rest of 2020. Good, good luck, God bless. Hope everyone makes their money. Hope everyone has some time off of Twitter. And uh, I'm Team Akilah Hughes, so. Happy 20 funny. Oh. Uh-oh. The girls we, don't know. Here we go. The girls don't know! Look the gals. Look daddy gone. It's oh, Nikki got a new computer! Finally, after so. years of just <laughs> chaos. Struggling. So, I'm so grateful for it. Just the full struggle, and then here we are. Oh, I gotta go verify the shit before I get to these BBs, you know? Oh, my weed stock went down. Uh-oh, wait, we're looking at our stocks? Oh, well, I just got an, a notif. You know what I discovered recently is the gentle, new, gentle? gender neutral term of um, niece and nephew, and I do not feel neutral about it. What is it? Nibbling. I don't like that. No. Your nibblings. They're your nibblings. Your nieces and nephews. I feel like it sounds like a food and I... You know what I call my nieces and nephews? What's Not that? my children. The, the, the Meganauts. Where's your big plant? Oh, it's in my room. Oh. I think it's dying. <laughs> I think, I think it, the- She every, likes humidity. Everyone told me it needs humidity. And so yeah. now I'm, well now I'm spraying the leaves with water. You have the little to, spray bottle? I have a little spray bottle. And so we'll see what happens. But I'm also like, what if I just go uh, plant her out front? And if she dies, I don't feel personally accountable for it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm already, I'm stressed out about a fucking plant. I'm like, I didn't feel this way about having an animal. I don't know why I'm so stressed. I don't know if I'm meant to own plants. I kind of like having fake plants now. I'm like this gives me the look that I want without the pressure that I don't need. That? Oh, that's, oh, that's definitely, that's a dying plant that I'm trying to revive, mm -hmm. but we might just have to get a new one. Ah! What? We got a new BB in uh -oh. the sweet spot. Well, if you want to become a BB, go to patreon.com slash whatthesweetfuck. That's how you keep this free show free as fuck and you keep us being cute as cute. How about we hey babe the sweet spot BBs? Hey babe. Hey babe. Yeah babe. You want to thank William Harvey? Oh, William Harv Babe? William Harv I love Babe. William Harv Babe. William Harv Babe was a, a, a BB in a different tier and then Ooh, he popped moved up. Ooh, up. Oh, wow, the commitment. That's exactly what all of you should be doing. <laughs> love you, William Harv Babe. William. Martin Hugh Babe? Martin Hugh Babe. <laughs> it's my Is favorite. that Hugh Babe? Is that Hugh Babe? That Hugh Babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Thanks, babe. Thanks, babe. Uh, Satan? Say babe. This must little say babe. Babe, 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 babin. I love a little babe and little say babe. Little babe in my life. Little say babe, little babe say. Little demon babe. Oh, little demon. Yeah, babe. Demon. I like that babe. Yeah, babe. 
I'll bathe you. <laughs> You're my babe. Only bathe me. I'll bathe you and I'll, I'm gonna bathe you like my little babe, my babe. Sometimes Keith walks by and I put my leg out and I try to kick him as he's walking to the kitchen just to keep his reflexes spry. <laughs> Have a good time, babe. <laughs> he hates me. You know what else, babe? What? Babe. Joan, babe. Joan, babe. We love oh, a Joan, babe. I love a baby Joan. Joan's a babe. Joan is the babiest of the babes. Shannon Lemon. Shannon, Shemma, Sh Shababe, Shababe. Shababe. <laughs> lemon Shababe? Lemon Shababe. I love a lemon Shababe. Ooh, it tastes so good. A little lemon just on top Shaving, of that Shababe. You know? Yeah. Shaved that, ice. Put that Shababe in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Heather Babe, Faraloides. Oh, fa Fair Babe. Fair Babies. Fair ba Babeloides. 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 <laughs> Heather snitch but babe I love babeloides. Wow, oh. I wish babeloides would keep my fucking name out of their babeloides mouth. Oh though. gosh. We also want to give up to Cat Heart. Are we still babing Cat or no? No, we're, we're not, not babing Cat. Oh, we're not babing anymore. Sorry, Cat. Listen, Cat, I have a I have a heart for you, heart. A heart on. A heart on. Uh, Kayla Quinn. Kayla Quinn, medicine woman. Emma Altonin. Emma melatonin in my mouth. Alex Boff. Alex, the f my favorite Baldwin boff. Liam Walsh. Liam, I just want to take you for a spin, Walsh. Alexandra Eels. Alexandra <laughs> <laughs> Eels. I feel like that's the joke in and of itself. Wyatt Eaton. Wyatt Eaton, not my goddamn heart. Jordana Cordovi. Jordana, I want to take you on a on a camping trip, Cordovi. Christian Aralda Garcia. Christian, I just want to I want to. Mmm. -mm. <laughs> Chelsea Gleason. Chelsea, you just have so much glee in your heart, son. Cat Waterflame. Cat, what else can we say about Cat Waterflame, Waterflame? Sammy Sue. Sammy Sue Sosa. Lawrence Colden. La Lawrence, it's cold in here. You know, there must be some Astros in the atmosphere. Sebastian Whitaker. Sebastian, I want to tell you the truth about Jesus Whitaker. Roberto XS. Roberto 3XL XS. AJ Avacia. AJ, I want to tell you the truth about Thin Mints Avacia. Tamara Moongraves. Tamara, the only bench that cares about us, Moongraves. Sam Brodeur. Sam, it's too much Brodeur. Evan Blue. Evan's so blue without you. And Stephanie. Thank you so much, BBs. We also want to give a thank you to all the BBs you see on the screen, the BBs you don't see, who are ghost BBs. If you'd like to join us in the afterlife, please. Yeah. Patreon.com slash what the sweet fuck. But you answer directly to baby Margo, producer Margo. Yes. R.I.P. Leave her messages on our Patreon page. Yeah, we'll make sure she gets them. And I haven't figured out how to use it yet, but we do have a Reddit now. We have a subreddit. Oh, thanks oh, yeah. to John J. Salamone, AKA, wow. or what's it called? Back, like, used to be known as, what's that thing? Oh, FKA. FKA do need to ease on up. Too many letters. Started it for us because we're we're not Reddit. You know what, I you know who, who John is? It's mm -hmm. our Reddit babe. Everyone's got their own title in our in our babedom. No, I want to destroy it as quickly as possible. No, I'm you sure you will. You can find me most places at Soundly Way. You can find me Megan Tonjes. If you're here, you're here, and you should be here. You should make sure you subscribe and, and go look at that video if you want, but mostly stay here. Yeah, there's a whole video, a whole other video on my channel. That's true. If you Living love its us, life. if you love me, you might like us. Gosh, she's also there, so, you know. I make appearances, but I do make him pay me a lot of money to be on that channel. Thank no one's hurting Jesus. more than white men, I'm telling you. Honestly, uh, an under underserved, underprivileged class. Yeah. Just waiting for their fair share. Yeah. Just no, yeah. One, no one gets them.